So, you know, specifically um, the integration that we're focused on here is uh, is beginning with um, pulling um, selectively by the customer out of service now the configuration items that provide the semantic meaning to the application name or service, the application function, uh, the what we call realm or region, where that application is deployed, what kind of infrastructure it's deployed to. We want to pull that data out of service now so that the dependency map that we're building and sustaining and managing um, has the correctly synced information from all of the various workflows and people that drive it in service now. So that's what you see at the top is us pulling those application labels over into our observation and then our map. And then based on our map and our risk engine, we can then uh, selectively push dependency and risk data back into ServiceNow uh, to really fuel the point we were just making about uh, actioning information to the specific personas through the various workflows and modules that um, our customers are, are using on the ServiceNow side. So whether you know that's um, you know, a SecOps workflow or whether that's an application portfolio management workflow, um, we want to provide the dependency and risk data that make those decisions not just actionable, but highly certain, right? We don't want customers sitting back on their heels and waiting and thinking to themselves, well, do I trust this information? You can trust this information because it's just come hot off the presses. It's literally, you can go into the relationship cloud dependency map and we have a real time view of that application service, not just, you know, not just a uh, uh, you know static uh, mapping between uh, resources. So that the 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 dependency and risk data is the areas where we really um, I'll throw it back to you, Ben. You know I think that there's a lot of different um, opportunities for us to to equip uh, that information in in service now. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking earlier about how we were going to draw those diagrams, right? It doesn't sound like a like a super interesting use case, but being able to figure out the connections between different components of your application is actually a lot more challenging than you think. And especially with cloud, sometimes you don't even know because it's not even inside your data center, right? That it's communicating with. So being able to fill in these gaps, if you will, and then being able to assign you know, configuration compliance to some of them, whether that's data going in and out or whether that's you know, network device configuration or equipment configuration um, that you're observing over the wire, then we can now start to say as an enterprise architect or as, a, or as an app owner, you know, hey, here's the areas where I'm at risk. Here's the areas where I'm doing well, my compliance is in check. And then I can start to build mitigation plans around, sometimes that's around changing employee behavior or in cha changing contractor behavior or something like that with your application. So these are things that are now gonna be able to be discovered by us. And now that that enterprise architect has a direct conduit into the live environment, um, they can respond to things a lot quicker.